Hansis Room. Yeah, Hansis Room präsentiert euch heute Northern Draw aus Portland, Oregon. Let's go. Yo, what's up, world? How we doing? Uh, I decided to do something a little bit different today and uh, kind of talk about the music and some tracks that I've done rather than a mix. We're all so inundated during these corona times with lots of mixes and whatnot. So I decided to do a little selector style and maybe talk about some of the background behind the processes in the, the community because growing in music is such an important part, watching people change and go through different movements. And uh, you as a listener is also part of that community. So I'm going to start out to bridge the connection between Portland, where I'm from, and Munich with a track called No Game Boy featuring Omari Jazz, a wonderful artist that lives in Portland, um, off of the Hansi's Room LP. So check it out. No Game Boy. label in a night called Thirsty City and uh, one of the first releases on Thirsty City was called Portland to Munich. This is a track off of the Portland to Munich compilation called Ginger Candy, also featuring Omari Jazz. And I can't stress enough to check out Omari Jazz. Super dope. He just dropped a project called Dream Child on his band camp that's wonderful, so check it out.
Yeah, so I decided to play a lot of more unreleased and some remixes stuff, stuff that'll never come out. So this next track is from some Munich locals, beautiful Munich city here called L1 and Leo Lex. It's a remix I made of a track called One. It's going to be coming out soon on a remix album. So uh, check it out. This is a remix of a song called One coming to you soon. album L1 The Dawn track is called Tiger Crane. It's a remix I made for a group called Bakoya on Wadada Records. It's off of the album Introducing Bakoya. I think it's going to come out on a remix album soon. Heads up.
Koya, Tiger Crane Remix. Yo, up next, it's a remix I did of one of my close friends, Ro Namu. This is a remix of a track called Crimson featuring Count Bass D off of the album Petrichor on Liquid Beat Records out of Portland. One of my favorite record labels, man. You got to check them out. So check it out. Remix album coming soon. Original album. I love this original album. And also a funny story with Portland and Munich. The track Smoke. Smoke was actually an instrumental on the Portland and Munich compilation on Thirsty City. Then he put it on this later. And Stanley Ipkiss and Blossom sing on it. Stanley Ipkiss actually recorded his verse in my studio in Portland. And also shout out to Icho on the cover art, one of my favorite Portland artists. This art is amazing. Petrichor, Ro Namu, great DJ, great artist. I can't stress enough to check out Liquid Beat Records. Remix album coming soon with DJ Spinner, Bus Greats, Houdini. Houdini's got a remix. I think Houdini also remixed this track. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. All right, this next one. It's called Blanc featuring Studenets, who has an album on the Thirsty City label, and also Jenny Ja Lee, wonderful singer musician. It's a 10 inch of this I put out myself and helped silk screen it. Yeah, Blanc. It's a nice little hot 10 inch out of this out there. Check it out. Oh, 
Ginny Jolie. with my homie Studentz. Studentz helped play the drums on this one. Live drums. I actually had found the sample, the seven inch sample of this in Berlin many years ago. I brought it back to Portland and wanted to make a house track out of it. Um, and I had actually made a beat with Samadi, a little hip hop beat out of that same sample. And I was like, this isn't right. I want to make a little house. I want to make something a little more jumpy with it. So, up next is an unreleased track from a Munich group called Poly Poly, one of my favorite groups that we did together. I uh, don't know if it's ever going to come out. It has no name. I don't know. So. How's your tip? Amazing funk group. Shout out to Polly Polly, Boom Clack Records. Shout out to the Boom Clack fam. Portland. It's very close to Seattle, Washington. Uh, so we collaborate a lot between Portland and Seattle. So the next couple tracks I'm going to make are kind of Seattle influenced because I'm really inspired by a lot of my friends up there. Uh, this is from a Juke 
footwork inspired project I put out recently on Care Package Records out of Seattle. So it's a little bit faster since we're on this uh, 120 tip. So check it out. This is uh, called Surrealist featuring Magic DJ. Yeah, this EP is called Fallen Fruit. Actually, I got the name from Leo Lex because he said Felt Obst in a line, and I was like, that's a really tight name, Fallen Fruit for an EP. Danke. So yeah, that's a footwork-inspired EP on Care Package Records. This next one... We're going to keep it in Seattle. Also on Care Package Records because um, Care Package Records is really affiliated with a night that's been happening for almost 15 years or something. 15 years in Seattle called Stop Biting. I think for almost like 10 years they were doing it weekly. So mad respect to all the Stop Biting people for doing a weekly night for 10 years. And I think they do it monthly now. Um... So, uh, yeah, the same record label, Care Package, they put out uh, a compilation of artists that have uh, put out music and played that night. So this next one is called Slump. It's off of, oh, what's it called? Stop, ba- Stop Biting Beat Makers Compilation 2. <laughs> Shout out to my Seattle people. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shout out if you've been doing a monthly for 10 years, too. That's crazy. Or weekly. It's a lot of work. Care Package Music. Stop Biting Beatmakers Compilation Volume Dose. So, speaking of Seattle, I also mess with a crew called FFU or Filthy Fingers United. They were putting out a free beat tape on Bandcamp every month for like five years. So I'd throw them a beat every now and then. Now I think they do it quarterly. Um, but this next track is called Fuse featuring Dead Language. Dead Language is actually a world famous uh, mycologist. He wrote a book called Radical Mycology. You should check it out. Genius. Great guy. Um, but yeah, this is off of the Filthy Fingers United wax that just dropped. It's called Fuse. And I made it, I think, in 2000 nine on MPC or something with my friend Dead Language. I love that song. This next song is called Fade, featuring Lana Shea, which is my friend I've known the longest, known her since I was eight years old, and also Matroshka, who has a full album on Thirsty City if you want to go check it out. It's from a split album I did, split tape, where actually one side of the tape's me, one side is Nice Nate who's actually a comedian now in Los Angeles. He gave up beats to make comedy, to do comedy. So Nice Nate's Instagram, hilarious. Follow Nice Nate on all the social medias. He's hilarious. Thank you. 
Lana Shea. next track is called Whistle Song. There's a dope video of this. I did this with my friend JM, J-A-Y 3M, formerly known as J Mousepad. It's on Thirsty City, also Spotify. But the interesting thing about this project was um, there was a bunch of us that all got together and had a million 404s and 303s and we all linked them up and recorded a live jam session into a tape uh meek sneak j mousepad slurgeon young sums diogenes we all jammed out recorded a tape and then joe mousepad and i took the tape and made a whole ep out of sampling uh that cassette so this is whistle song uh off of play record check it out Mousepad. Play record. Yeah, there's a cool little video of that that Adam Silver made on YouTube. So the next couple beats I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play about four beats because they're all little microwaves. Uh, there's something called a F- FWAM, February Album Writing Challenge or something. Febu- February Album Writing Month, that's what it is, where you're challenged to write a full album in uh, February. So last February I wrote... Uh, or made an album of beats with just a 303 and a portable turntable. Um, So I'm going to play a couple beats uh, from my 303 album. So yeah, it's a bunch of loops. Uh, I don't think they really have... They didn't have names, but it's on Spotify and Spotify makes you have names and it made me change all this stuff just to to get it up there but it's up on the on the interweb so check it out these are some some loops from a 303 and a portable turntable Thank you. 
to my man Wisdom on this one. He gave me the sample. Wisdom also flips this sample really hard on the Shadows LP. Prince Paul, one of the best that's ever done it. Illest, Prince Paul.
Yeah, beats made with the 303, SB303, and a portable record player in one month. Uh, 303 beats. The next couple beats I'm going to play is actually, I made it during Corona as a surprise for my friend in Seattle, OC Notes. OC Notes is an illest man. Super dope cat. Um, but his Instagram makes me crack up. So I sampled his Instagram, laced it over some beats, and sent it to him. It's on my band camp, but I'm going to play a couple of those beats uh, right here. So check it out. Here's one for you. OC Notes. Real talk. Snare something that you guys like. Them and these. Yeah. Guest list. This one's pertaining to guest list. First of all, if I just met you, don't ask for fucking guest list. That's retarded. Second of all, if I just met you, that's for guest list. Retarded. I just thought about it. I was being hella nice and shit, and I was like, wait a minute, man. I've never asked anyone I just met for a guest list. Don't ask me for a fucking guest list. Second thing, if you're my homeboy, pay for the fucking show. Why? I have three kids. Why? I have three kids. Three kids. Three kids. When I walk in the top and ask for a fucking guest like, and I'm so sick of y'all in the our spirit is literally you want to say you should in the it's fucked up, but it is just music, alright? Hey, this shit, alright? It's tired of music, fuck
were very disappointed. Land as hell, bro. Like, I still haven't had a word of word all year. It's been a day. Y'all need to step your game up. Don't make too pleas for the people in a weird neighborhood you move into making cash. Like, stick to your roots, bro. Put some flavor into it. What's the point of making the land tomorrow, dog? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say your name because it's hard right now. It's on glass, but I'll never go back. Please, somebody open up with a spot. Before a guy meets the hill tomorrow, he's just right now, he's like, he's like a watery packet. Damn. I just thought that was funny because I um I sampled a Czechoslovakian country record from the 80s and on the back of this record apparently it claims that country music is really big in Eastern Europe in the 80s. So I was proud of myself for making a beat out of that one. Shout out to OC Notes. Uh we released that for free on our Bandcamp. So it was just a kind of like care package I gave to him during corona times, you know, to make him smile. Um, the last couple tracks I'm going to play here. One is an unreleased track that will probably never be released. It's called Payday featuring Devin Hu. Uh, I play it in my set sometimes. And then I'm going to close out the set uh, with the remix that Devin did, Devin Hu did, of uh, my track Blanc off of that 12-inch. So thank you guys for checking me out, man. Thanks, Munich. Thanks, world. Uh, shout out to Hansi's room, man, putting in the work for years. You know what I'm saying? And uh, good luck out there, okay? Devin just came out with an album called Off World on Leaving Records. So check it out. He just dropped that Off World album. Known Devin a long time. I love you, man. It's been a pleasure to see you grow and be the person that you are.
Thank you guys. Checked out my selector set. Uh, it's been crazy with the Corona times. So I'll be doing well. And all my Americans out there, all my Portland people, you know, I'm gonna see you guys in the streets in a little bit, you know, keep fighting the good fight, you know, Black Lives Matter. Peace.